say again? Well, I know I said before that uh, that was probably going to be the last of the vlog for this uh, location. But today's been a stinker of a hot day and uh, the cloud has now come in, which inspires me greatly because, as you can probably see, best way to show you is it but anyway um yeah well, I'm hoping that the cloud is gonna light up tonight at sunset so I'm gonna stick with a different or go to a different theme for tonight's shoot and uh, get some of these rocks that are around the place okay so you can see that I've got the 17 to 40 on and I am very close to these rocks but the wide angle lens gives me that view which I'm actually liking especially these clouds so I've focused on the rock just here and uh, the settings are almost the same we'll try in the middle sorry about the camera shake that's the wind blowing it reasonably fast shutter speed because if I don't the uh, oh yes that's looking good the uh, wind blowing the camera around will introduce some movement which I probably don't want so I'll put the, hist the histogram up so I can see what I'm actually going to get here oh well, that's pretty close and that's half a stopover so I'm going to take that one and you know me, I'm going to bracket one, <laughs> just because I can. I like bracketing. So, we'll see what they look like. But so far, so good. I like this orange down here, and I like the rocks. Should try a little bit lower. And... Uh, Get the, get the rocks above the horizon of the rock they're sitting on. This is my second composition with the uh, little pool there and the tree in the midground and the lake in the background. Um, it's a little different, it looked good on the uh, phone when I took it before, so I was looking for composition, so I'm going to take one. Um, I'm going to take one smack on there, 40 fifths of a second, so I can get the clouds, so I'll bring the shadows or the dark bits up in post later on. Uh, well, you never know what we'll get with that. And I haven't gone far because those rocks just there, the ones I just took before, and we're camped just up over there, so, and I'm going down over there next. And when that sky lights up, it's going to be a mad panic for composition. So I think it's either going to be that one down there or the rocks I took before. This one I'm not too sure about. You can see all the way along the side of the lake. Uh, that's where I've just come down from, just up there. All the way along here are these interesting shapes in the rocks where the wind and the uh, rain is eroded the uh, the rock I didn't oh, well, I saw them yesterday but I really didn't think much of them um, so I was sort of hell-bent on that uh, photo of the of the uh, salt rings but look at the shapes in these I mean rocks like that anyway 
right, the one I'm looking for is over here. And when you see it, you'll know why. It's this one here, which doesn't look anything from this direction, but it's got some shape. And there's a couple of boulders down there as well to make a bit, a bit more interest. So that's my plan. So I'll get up here. And there's that one, that old gnarly bit of tree with the hole in the rock. Anyway, I think this is the one that I'm really going to go for. Something along those lines. So, we just got to find the right composition. You know, do you include that one, that one, that one in it? Sort of leading away around a little bit to the other side, go a little bit higher to get the one behind it, and maybe that's the composition, but anyway, we'll have a look. Well, there's the composition, and uh, I'm still not sure about it. I like this bit here, but I don't like the rocks that lead your eye out of the, uh, out of the scene. So, I've taken a shot, and uh, it didn't look too bad, but I'm going to try something else, just to see what else we can get. Well, it's not long now. The sky is going to look very nice. It's already starting to look quite nice over this way hoping that's going to light up a nice orangey colour to match the rocks yeah, of course that's uh, <laughs> look at that for a, a view and of course that's where that uh, other rock formation is down at the lake's edge. Hmm, do we stick with that or do we stick with this? Dilemma, dilemma. That is looking nice though, isn't it? My goodness me. You can see one stop underexposed gives uh, half a second. It gives the pink in the sky. It allows that to come through. So, using my trusty remote control, yeah, it's got promise. I don't know what else is going to come in. If that's going to light up a little bit more. But I'm going to sit it out because I know what will happen. The minute I leave, it's going to go berserk. Okay, well I'm going to call it because I reckon that's the last of the light, even though if I spin around over here, there's a little bit of light still up in the sky over there. But uh, I'm going to call it and uh, time for something to eat, a shower and bed. And we'll be leaving here tomorrow and uh, I'm not sure where we're going yet, but um, I'm sure it'll be an interesting place. Anyway, uh, this is the end of the Lake Campion vlog, so um, once again, um, Give us a thumbs up if you like what we've brought you and uh, of course subscribe to the channel we'd really like you to do that and uh, of course if you do subscribe please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when we upload our next vlog um, thanks very much for watching if you made it this far um, i hope it wasn't too boring and uh, i hope you enjoyed seeing what you saw around lake campion so 
Until next time, bye for now. Oh, good morning, everybody. One last ditch attempt to finish this vlog. And uh, I got up at uh, about 20 past four this morning. Yes, very unusual for me. Um, but I just, after last night's sunset, I just wanted to see if I could get a uh, sunrise here because of the way the sun came up yesterday morning and then I missed it. Anyway, totally different shot this morning and I'll show you what I've got. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at. And uh, the sun, I fear, is going to come up through there. So I'm probably going to miss the sun. But look at those clouds. And of course those rocks. So how am I going to capture this? Well, it's kind of interesting. So I've focused on the rock there and... Uh, I'm having to, I'm ISO 100, I'm having to go down in the seconds to, uh, down into two seconds, and it was four seconds before. And, uh, there we go. Looks like it might be alright. And another little trick is I'm going to use this. Now it doesn't seem like much but I'm going to light up the uh, the rock in front of me. So I set the timer. It's a little bit, a little bit like pointing a fan at a cyclone but um, surprising how much light actually comes through. So, let's see. Well, it's a little bit hard to see on that. But those clouds are just magnificent. Okay, well, here's the sun coming up. I don't know if that little gap just there is going to provide enough to let the sun through on the clouds. I'm going to guess not, but one has to hope. That's a, that's a bit unfair because I've just been shooting the sun as it came up through those uh, that gap in the clouds and oh my goodness, I've been too busy <laughs> firing off shots uh, to uh, bring you along for the ride. So I apologise for that but I'll show you the shots later. Um, they, uh, they have been just magnificent. And I thought I wasn't going to get a shot this morning. <laughs> well, I've been rewarded for getting up early. Maybe I'll be a convert. Maybe. Just. Wow. As you can see, the bag's a bit of a mess. I've had the 70 to uh, 200 out. And that was an interesting experience, focusing way down on the uh, on the sun. These rocks here were sort of out of focus and in, in shadow, but the sun and the clouds down the the, uh, the back there, uh, wow, I sure as hell hope those photos come out. just seriously need to share this epic light with you. Wow. Oh dear, if this is what you get for getting up early, I just might be that convert. Wow. Just looking magnificent.
have bracketed some shots as well, so look at that cloud. Goodness me. Start over there. And look. Eagles. Eagles soaring on the wind. Wow, we've got it all this morning. That's a wedge-tail eagle. Well, it is called Eaglestone Rock. Look at him go. I didn't get a photo of him going across, did I? But wow. Okay, so this is definitely the final, the end. No more on this vlog because it's going to be way too long as it is now. In fact, this might end up being a vlog just on its own in the morning. Ha! Look at this. Just we have a look at that. Sun's gone up behind that cloud bank now. What a morning. Okay, everybody, well, that is definitely it. Um, and uh, as I've said before, and I'll say it again, don't forget to give us a thumbs up for a like. And uh, if you did like it, that is. And if you want to see more, then subscribe to the channel. We'd highly appreciate that. And uh, hit that notification bell, then you will know when we've uploaded more videos. And with any luck, some outstanding photos and views like you've just been looking at. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.